Now, the next thing I wanna show you how to do is how to use animations on Webflow. This is a very cool feature that allows you to pretty much animate any element of your website um, and it's pretty customizable as well, so you can pretty much do anything you want. And that's also a, a reason why many people love Webflow. So I'm gonna show you how, the, how this works. I'm gonna go back to my homepage. And for example, we're gonna animate this picture right here. So what I wanna do is when this page loads, I wanna have this element kind of fade in from the right side. So um, first we're gonna go to the, to the interactions panel. So we're gonna go to the top right here, click on this icon. And now I'm gonna set a trigger for the animation that I'm about to set up. So um, I wanna have this animation run when somebody loads this website. So I'm gonna go to page trigger, click on the plus sign, and I'm gonna go to page load. And now I can either have this animation start when, when the page starts loading or when it's finished loading. I'm gonna do it when it starts loading, so I'm gonna click on start an animation here, I'm gonna click on the plus sign, and now we can kind of um, create our animation. So first, let's give our animation a name. I'm gonna name it um, hero or fade in, fade in right. And now let's select our element that we wanna animate. Then we're gonna click on the little plus sign here. And first we're gonna animate the, uh, the, the moving of the element. So I'm gonna go to move and on the bottom here, you can change the, the, po the position of your element. So I'm gonna change the X axis and I'm gonna put the element to the right. So I'm just gonna uh, make it like 460 pixels to the right. And I'm also wanna decrease the opacity uh, for the initial state. And by the way, for the initial state, make sure you go to set as initial state because this is um, the initial state of the element before the animation starts. Then I also wanna decrease the opacity. So again, I'm gonna go to the plus sign here, go to opacity, and I'm gonna decrease the opacity on the bottom all the way to zero and also make sure to set it as an initial state. And now we have set up our initial state of the animation. And now I'm gonna set up the, the state after the animation. So I'm gonna go to the plus sign, go to move, and now I wanna make sure that the element is back to the middle. So I wanna set it to zero pixels so we can see it would be back here. And um, now it's also set as an initial state. So I'm gonna uncheck the initial state because that's not the initial state, that's the end state. And then I'm gonna again go to the plus sign and increase the opacity again, go to opacity. Uh, it's already increased to 100% here. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. And uh, we can just kind of merge these two together. And the animation's already kind of finished. So now we can see how this looks like. We can click on play and this is how it will look like. It's kind of a little bit too fast, so what I can do is go to each of these um, end states here and change the duration from here 0 0.7, 0 0.5 seconds to 1.5 seconds and do the same thing for uh, this opacity, 1.5 seconds. And also I'm gonna change uh, the easing. So I'm gonna change from linear to let's say out quint and the same thing with this from from linear to out quint and now let's play this again so now it looks a lot smoother we can make this even let's say 2.5 seconds to make it even a bit longer 2.5 and maybe let's see how this looks like and now it's kind of even slower we can also go to the preview here so this is how it looks like. So this is how you can an animate your elements, which is a very, very cool thing to do. Another cool thing you can do is maybe um, kind of fade in different elements when you scroll down on the website. So we're gonna quickly do that as well. So let's um, just kind of fade in the logos here when we start scrolling on our website. So we're gonna um, go back to the trigger here. Now we're gonna use the element trigger. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign here go to uh, while scrolling in view. And now I'm gonna select the element, so this would be the grid. Um, and now I'm gonna select an action, play scroll animation, and um, gonna go to plus here. And now again, go to the plus sign, go to let's say opacity. So I'm gonna decrease the opacity 
at zero. And then here, I'm gonna increase the opacity again. And now when you scroll, it will change. The opacity will kind of change. So as you can see here on the preview, right on the top, it's kind of almost zero. And now when we scroll down, it will increase the opacity. So maybe this is a bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is go back in here and maybe drag this up. So to let's say 50%. So now when you are scrolled at 50%, it's already at full opacity. So I'll click save here, go to the eye icon. And as you can see here now in the middle, it will all already be full opacity. But you can also like flip it in or kind of, you can basically do whatever you want with Webflow. I just want to show you how you can kind of animate all your elements right here.